Welcome back. Now, it's a tried and proven notion that when parents get involved in their children's life, it makes for a better and well-rounded child. Children need guidance, they need care, and they need love. It is in that strain that Fathers United for Change was born. Here with us to tell us the wonderful works that they have been doing with young boys in their community are parent mentors Mark Curtis Robinson and Trevor Edmondson. Welcome, and firstly, Mark, what is Fathers United for Change? Well, we are a male parenting group, yeah. per se, and we actually look about the need that exists to actually take away the stigmatization that men aren't doing their roles in the community because it's just a stigma. Mm -hmm. There are men like us who actually be a part of a family, not even the family, but the, the community. Right. As I was to say, you're not only mentoring and parenting your children, no. but you're mentoring and parenting the wider, children, wider community. The wider community. Mm -hmm. um, which is how, uh, Curtis, it was naturally, especially in terms of our African culture, it takes a village, village to raise a child. child. And if you even go to the, the Bible, where it speaks about the man is the head of the household. And I, I know a lot of women are going to say, boy, it is not, it is in, not in, gender in equitable to speak mm -hmm. about being the head, but um, there are some impacts when the man is absent from leading the community and leading the household. Yeah, and that's, that's, our, um, Father's Union, that's one of the reasons why Father's Unite come to be, because men wasn't getting the recognition of being parent, and good parent too, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because, um, for instance, even from community like our communities, um, they, they, the stigma is that um, people like us, we are not good parent to our children, but there's good parents to, um, in the community. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's the okay. other side, yes. but on a, on, a, on a ratio of like say seven to t out of 10, there's parents who's with, with their children, homework, the whole um, sports, mm -hmm. um, the whole the whole thing, mm -hmm. just like the um, the other, other parts of Jamaica. Very good, you know? Trevor. Tell us about your 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 parenting parenting style and um, you you what what kind of parenting style do you practice in terms of dealing with your own children? Well, before being a part of the group, uh, before the group exists, my parenting style was terrible. Mm. What do you mean by terrible? Yeah, because at times it feels like I'm in jail just because of my parenting style. Okay. Yeah, okay. I used to leave my youth in my way because I overgo come say parent leader them youth. Mm -hmm. So it's when I was exposed to a parent workshop was hosted by Jai Town community. Yeah. I was surprised, tears run from my eyes. You know, when we realized everything we did in my house was wrong. Mm. So I'm going to have to revisit back my house, take two things from the workshop. What, what are you doing differently? What are uh, some of the things you were told? Well, uh, things you were told like you can chat to your child, mm. have to speak to your child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you know, sometimes when there's something wrong and it, it, it burns you, you want, yeah. you know, the cure of the situation was you just take your time, calm, and try to talk to them, ask them what's wrong. No one then might chip out, but yeah, yeah, Still focus on that. Yeah, it, it, it's a process. Yeah, man. But, but was that your parenting style, the way you practiced it before, was that because of how you were brought up as yes, a child? Yes, because I was brought up as a child. We grew up in a, in a society where, as a person, a community where it's such a bad word every day. Mm -hmm. From your wake, going to your bed. Mm -hmm. The abuse, if you do something wrong, they lick that. Not only from my parents, but seeing it alone from other parents. But, but well, let me reason with you, because growing up, um, you, I, I grew up in a family where, of course, I'd get beating for doing things that um, my parents or my grandmother, who I grew up with, um, considered to be to be wrong. And um, and parents, the generation of the past, and even some parents or Jamaican parents you now, thinks that doing that is is a good way to discipline your child, and it is good for you eventually. It will read to your to your benefit eventually. Um, you were taught otherwise. Well, enough of us. Say, beating, that's why enough of them get bad. But yeah. you can't tell enough parents, say, nothing at this time, with this generation. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. Let, let me ask a question, a quick question before coming back to you, Mark. 
Um, when you say a lot of us got that exposure, which is true, and you say not in this generation, it won't work. Do you think that your own life, our lives from our generation, would have been better if our parents were exposed to some of what you are now practicing much in your better, parenting? Much better, much. Uh, because results show. From we take on this fathering and this parenting and mentorship thing, we see the community change. Mm -hmm. Most of the youth um, who used to act out, most of the parents that we engage with start talk to them children for a better. Mm -hmm. And it, it makes a difference when it's done and reason with your child, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, you can because I think we we sometimes get the impression that children don't understand some of the things that we're, that we're trying to impart to them as a parent. I'm not a parent, by the way, but um, impart to them. And, and sometimes we may be talking over their head. But I find if you sit down and talk to even a five-year-old or a four-year-old child um, who has behavioral problems and, say, and, and explain to them why that is wrong and why they shouldn't do it and, and find a different way to get them to do something differently, it, it works. Yeah. I've seen it happen. So it doesn't always mean you have to take up a stick or a belt and 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 slap them to the get them the to. The only difference at times is you have to keep repeating. Sometimes in a work, as I said, yeah. But if you just keep repeating, repeating. And repetition, repetition yeah, is an art and work. Um, society, society in itself, you know, most of the things that's going on in our society, Jamaica and our world, um, the society, the older folks don't want to take the blame. And it's a fact. Children but live what they learn. <laughs> children live what they learn. Most of the things that the children are exposed to is what they see in us grown folks doing and saying. And some of them take on to it. And then now later on, we have the problem to solve the problem that we create ourselves. So what I'm saying, point is that um, we, grown-ups, to need to pain. take more responsibility of what we're saying and what we're doing and how we're doing it in front of the children. Mm -hmm. Because it's not only our space, it's their space too. So we have to create that environment that we desire. True. Listening, we get a better result. Listening to <laughs> both of them, what's going through your mind? You've been saying for the first time <laughs> that we've ever interacted, you've been silent for so long. What's going through your mind as you're listening to both of them? Well, I, I remember growing up, mm -hmm. there was a cane at my home. One? A cane. Just one. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> but I, 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 grew, I grew up around my grandmother, my yeah. father, my aunts. Yeah. And I had a, a, a big cousin. If she went out and did something wrong and she came in, her mom would beat her and the cane would be in a corner. And when my father come in, he said, what should do? Mm -hmm. And she get her next beat. Oh, yeah. And when my, I, my auntie comes, she said, what should do? And it's her next beat. And my grandmother might be the one who maybe not beat her, but it goes around. Yeah, the grandmother so, was yes, the Supreme the, Court yes. Justice. So, so <laughs> the, there it was, this kind of setting that if you fall short on that side, the other side, you go pick it up. So it was actually a learning process. The children were actually made to be seen and not be heard, mm -hmm. but in this day and age it's different mm -hmm. because if you try to shut out the child, that child may not bring out that type of potential that he has. Maybe he, he could have been a, 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 a Raymond Price and be a, be a moderator or something, so. <laughs> <laughs> but we stopping them from speaking their minds, it yeah. actually close them up, from put them, let them be, become yeah. a little sheltered child, so yeah. we have to create that space, let them know that their voices count. Their, 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 their suggestions count mm -hmm. because they have a right. Mm -hmm. We have the responsibility. True, true. Um, but how, how are we going to get parents to, to appreciate or change the kind of culture to say, you can't go and talk. If me, my, me, me, me beat my pitney and I feel good and him turn out to be, to be somebody good in their life. So you can't talk. Beating does work. Beating work for who afraid of beating? <laughs> You see them kids are nowadays? You beat them. No, true. You beat Seriously. them, you beat them, them get worse. Because you beat them, they just go around one side and say, hey, boy, them lick me. What should I go do? You know, them times when we are growing up. You know, worse are beaten. Mm. Yeah. And then there's something worse. The area to cast off, you abuse them, you end up at jail, you mm. go to that. Serious thing, you know. And then the cycle go around. Because mm -hmm. that child take on the same principle when they become a parent. Mm -hmm. And thinking that um, this beaten thing is a good thing. I'm saying um, there's a way how you do what you do, right? And like um, Trevor is saying that um, in the process, the first initial process of how we used to deal with these children and then you now after learning that uh, count to ten, one to ten 
before you before you answer your child or before you even engage your child if they're doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. It saves a lot. It saves you and it saves the child. I'm mm -hmm. sure it does. Trevor, um, mm -hmm. let me ask you. Uh, well, any of you can answer. Are your parents still alive? And if you were able to identify one moment from your memory as a child where, based on what you are now learning, you thought your parents, either your father or your mother or aunt or grandmother, acted in a way that caused you harm, that you took with you through to your adulthood, what would that discussion be like? As much as all my parents, my father was a, a, a calm man still, you know. My mother was more the, the beating type. Mm -hmm. My mother never asked me if say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mother loved the licking and yeah. the water and thing. Yeah, I think we get that from her. And that, 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 that travel with me. Cause at times it spilled out from my youth. Mm -hmm. At times it spilled out. Right. Ignorance and my job, I'm sure I talk to myself, ask myself when I'm really I do I apologize. Fill up my daughter. Mm -hmm. Come out of my show too loud, you know. She shut down, you know. Mm -hmm. She rode. She do the things that I watch if you see all oh, your impression on your face. And uh, see, I want to catch some of her when I say, watch her when I talk, do her. Um, mm -hmm. See what I say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, children do them things, them test you. Yeah. They keep up pressure you put on them test, as the mark said. Mm -hmm. You beat and them get worse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mark, I'm sure there are other um, guiding principles that you are imparting to parents and, and to men in particular how to raise their children. It's not just about um, the, the discipline side. Um, what are some of the other principles? Well, there? principle is um, we, we have, we have a, a saying that you, you, you practice what you preach. Mm -hmm. So we, you, you're going to emulate that, that, that walk that you want your child to walk in. You're going to actually put that foot forward so that they see that it's right foot, left foot. You're not going to say left, left and not not happen to the right foot because you can't up around on mm -hmm. this job. This job is actually a step at a time because enough of us are really up and around in parenthood. We have been brought up in it through circumstances. From our perspective, we come from, call it the inner city, mm -hmm. people say the ghetto. In the inner city, we know one way. If we weren't exposed to these type of programs, we would actually be in that way, same way. Mm -hmm. So we are actually doing things to so we, we, we get invited to schools, we get invi invited to even church programs. Right. And, and it, it's, it's very, um, it's, it's, it's very heartrending when you see that what you are doing actually helps. Yeah. yeah. And it's it changing a lot. It's right. changing a lot because yeah. I remember when I was growing up, my mom wasn't around. Mm -hmm. She came from America and when she came, came home, I heard and I actually took myself and reached there. Mm -hmm. When I got the bag of goodies and came home, my aunt was mixing up a, a batch to make some pudding. You know, we used to make pudding every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And when I brought the things, she was looking at the bag, and when she done looking at the bag, it's the same spoon, and she mix up the pudding with, she gave me a little cross and back and said, I never said you're going to wear. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that, it actually helped me in a way, because it kept me grounded. But if we do that now, yeah. Where are we? Different yeah. children, different, different children, children, different okay. generation. Uh, so much knowledge imparted this morning, uh, gentlemen, and, and thank you so much. I'm sure parents who are watching us this morning learned a thing or two. Thank you for and sharing yeah. so directly and so deeply your own experiences. I want to share something. I want to share shout out to, <laughs> to just a couple of persons who really make fathers in us change yes. what it is today. Yeah. And groups like Comet 2, as I mentioned before, CSJP, Joy Town, Joy Town mm -hmm. and of course, Chenstone Community, because without the community, we would be so strong in what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're supposed to be at Charles Mead School after yeah. this program, speaking to over 160 youths. Boys. Today, so. And not just the three of us, we're going to spread out in a chance with we're going to show an impression. Mm -hmm. We try all out at least 10 members from the group. And we hear that 10 grade is disrupted. Acting up. Acting up. They, they need they, they say, and that's yeah. the thing about it, and I say to and people all the time. Our first experience, yeah. crime and violence, yeah. we also get exposed to that from yeah. a younger age. So. As a man said, the best solution is from person who live it. 
Absolutely. We have been there. That's how it's so effective with parenting. Right. Yeah. We can tell a youth what it is. Mm -hmm. If you want to get out of line. And we can tell Jamaica right now. Biggest problem right now is parenting. Mm -hmm. Biggest problem that I cause so much crime and violence. We need to get back to parenting. Mm -hmm. Try to save them youth that will come now. Mm -hmm. Fully agree. Strong Perfect. words Perfect. on which to close yes. the segment. Mm -hmm. I want to thank the three of you for joining us. A very good um, initiative this after this program at Charlemont. Uh, sorry, not at Charlemont. Uh, Charlie, at Charlie, Charlie Smith. Smith. Yes. Um, and also want to commend to others watching. Take the time, if it's even an hour, visit your alma mater or any other school and share NPSC. some time with the students. And as you talk about that, big up NPSC because they say take the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. take, take the, the time. time. Yeah. Take yeah. and love and well, also, respect your child. Yeah. There are also parent mentors from the National Parenting Support Commission. Right, NPSC. Yeah, well, man. Three of us. Good. Very good. Very well good. done, Curtis. Well done, Mark. Well done, Trevor. More when we come back. This is CVM at Sunrise.